Hey everybody, Super Vader Man here. And Wado just keeps on burning through these drunk dealers, doesn't he? Uh, first time it was like some woman in the Moncal, and now he's bossing. Not really sure what's up with that. What's up with that, Wado? Whatever. Anyways, last time on Star Wars Galaxies, Wado just informed us that he sold the head of the droid we're looking for to Jabba. So that's unfortunate. So we have to uh, go talk to the big fat giant slug. But Jabba is currently over nine kilometers that way. Ah! Oh, it's another player. Who is that? Kirab Dark Runner. Huh. And he just strode in on this ATRT. Alright, well, anyways. Let's uh, go to the nearest shuttle port and, you know, see if there's a city close by to Jabba's place. Uh, what button is the swoop bike? Seven? Yeah, there we go. Alright, shuttle port, shuttle port. Zoom out the uh, map a little bit. Ah, running in stuff. Alright, shuttle port is right next to the starport. That seems, uh. That seems rather redundant. I guess, uh, you know, if you're just a shuttle, just waiting on a shuttle. Actually, I, I have no idea why that would be necessary. But anyways, let's uh, go to Wayfar. Wayfar tends to be the, the uh, closest place to Jabba's palace. Oh, well, the shuttle's right there. 3PO droid. There we go. On to Wayfar. Oh, not yet. Yeah, put our way our swoop bike. There we go. Alright, welcome to Wayfar. Just a little a little outpost town underneath the shadow of Jabba's palace, off in the distance there. Oh, here in the shuttle. I always liked how the shuttle was just like flew in like that. Like they didn't just like drop down from the sky, they they actually flew in. And you know they don't they don't crash into any buildings or anything. They just you know the the, the cities are designed like that. And it's cool. I just thought it was a nice touch. Anyways, let's go off to speak to Jabba. Let's hope uh, Jabba has has a little bit more security than uh than those white throated people who just let a random fishman with an axe just barge on into their. Uh, Barge on into their facility. Well, I mean, he better hope he has better security than that. You know, I could care less. Let's follow this little path here. Pilot. Oh. My well, security isn't looking too good there, Java. Hmm. Okay. You gonna let me in? Uh, maybe. Oh. Well, apparently Reese is controlling this magical force field that's keeping us out from seeing Java. Alright, here's Reese. I'm not sure what his uh, species name is called, I just know that that's his name. I think you should be talking to Rila Baruch. Oh. Well, apparently we have to talk to Rila Baruch over here. You look like you might have work. You might have some fight in ya. Wanna work for Jabba? Not really, no. Oh. Well, I was, I was just being like sarcastic there. Anyways, I guess we have to, you know, be straightforward with this guy. I'll do whatever you want. I like your style. Get out there and make us proud. Don't come back until you've killed at least ten of these old Kalran bandits. Wait, what's this about bandits? Oh, well, whatever. I guess we have to go kill ten old Kalran bandits in order to impress Rila Brook. Whatever. Whatever gets us that droid head, I suppose.
It looks like the bandits are just right over here, so... You know, probably no fast forwarding needed. So they just like, yeah, they're just kind of hanging around this uh, little building here. Not really sure why. Doesn't really look that important. And maybe if it was like up on top of this dune, like, overlooking things, but it's just kind of in a pit. Next to a player city. Anyways. Let's kill some random bandits, yeah! Die, bandits! You're bandits, and they're therefore evil. Well, apparently killing Alcara Al bandits nets us some, uh, some points to the Tuscan Raiders. Oh yeah, I remember that. Because there was like, there was like way in the, way back in the past, um, like this guy called Alcara was like, like a diplomat with the Tuscan Raiders when people first settled on this planet, well recently, in recent years. But, uh, he ended up betraying them to Jabba or something. And so Jabba's hate people now. I mean, uh, Tuscan Raiders, Jabba's. <laughs> there are multiple Jabba's running around, slithering around the planet. I mean, you might, you might be saying, it's like, well, way in the past people were killing these Tuscan Raiders were uh, killing people. What's up, what's up with that? Well, uh, well, if you remember, it, it was said that uh, people just kind of come and go from this planet, like over over generations, and the recent influx of of uh, settlers. What am I trying to say? Anyways, Alcar is the reason why people, why the Duskins don't re like the recent influx of settlers. I'll just say that. It's a little less confusing. So we just need to kill uh, two more bandits. Kill one more bandit. Are you little? And you're dead. Good work. Jabba wants you to take care of some Valerian soldiers who are skulking around the palace. Oh, okay. Whatever. Just kill... What is that? Or a magnifier? That sounds cool. Even though it said it was a piece of junk. Bring up our swoop bike. There we go. And off to kill Valerian soldiers. I'll show you who Valerian is. She's uh she's in the lucky despot. I might just cut away to showing you her. I'm not sure. All right, we are almost to Valerian Soldier's base or whatever. It looks like a base. really nothing to these quests. You know, just go kill 11 guys, go kill 10 guys here, 5 guys here. You know, just just generic MMO junk. These legacy quests are kind of boring like that. Just letting you know. If you haven't caught one already. Alright, 8 more. What do you guys have? You have a weapon scope. That's junk. Die, Valerian soldiers. Oh. Well, apparently one of Valerian soldiers yelped fanatically, ouch. Just die already. Come on. Just fall over. Vocabulator. Not really sure what you're doing with vocabulator. Pyrotechnic machine? That sounds fancy. That is a collection item, so let's just go ahead and uh, add that to a collection. Yes, yes. Houtini! Oh, 
Die. What kind of soldiers are you? Just kind of sauntering around the place? Shame on you. Oh, there's another uh, one of those fancy player houses again. Off in the distance. Need to kill two more people. Go ahead and do that. Some of Valerian's people are buying our gambling debts. Take the vouchers from them so we can cash in ourselves. Oh, okay. So basically, run in and kill more Valerians. That sounds fun, right? Valerian bookies. You're a bookie. You also have a silly hat. Well, I'm not going to be doing that. Parking that, I mean. Oh, apparently all Valerian bookies dress exactly alike. Uh -uh. She blurts out evilly. Alright, kill four more bookies. Hey, Bookie. You must die. You must die as well. Oh, you're a Rodian. You're fancy. Two more remaining. What do you know? There just happens to be two Bookies in this room. That was easy. Golden symbol of quickness. Agility plus three. Wonder if that's better than what I have on. What do I have on? I have an Alder's Blade bracelet. Do I have another bracelet on? No. What does this give? Three agility. Oh yeah, I can I have one on both wrists now. That's cool. A plus three agility will make all the difference, guys. Will be unstoppable. So I'll just go ahead and uh, fast forward back to reload, I guess. You could you could probably you know run in right now. Now the door's open, dude. Instead of just staring at the door all day. No. Okay. Why is this one? piece of wall like all busted up. Was it like that in the movie? I don't know, I'd have to check. It's interesting now. Because this other piece of wall is not like that. What is over here a little bit? Anyways. The architecture is fascinating, I know. Hey, Relo. I uh, killed all those people for you. Excellent. We'll start collecting on these immediately. Now, if you're still hungry for some work, I suggest you talk to my friend Reese. He has something for you to do. That's the idea. He told me to talk to you. Hey, Reese. Reel says you're all right. Some things have gone missing. I'd like you to go retrieve them. I, I forget how these guys sound. I might play around with uh, play around with my editing software some more. Well, I you don't have that choice crunch bar. You can't just say no thanks. I can retrieve anything. Put the put the gem encrusted ball. I'll call you. Oh, bell. Okay. The bell. Let's go get the bell, guys. Sounds pretty pretty epic. Where is it? The bell's over here. In the sand splitter cave. What is the cave in distance? Not really sure why a cave is just like jutting up out of the sand dunes like that. And not like embedded in, in a mountain. Kinda like the squirrel cave was. In the dark letter cave. This this cave's just kinda like sticking up out of the out of the ground. 
Not really sure why. Who are you? Thug? That's that's his literal name, Thug. Alright, let's uh let's just go into this very unnatural cave formation. <laughs> 